A Colorado marital settlement agreement is a document in which both spouses convey the terms of a divorce. It covers a full range of topics such as distribution of property, child and alimony support, and custody rights. In this video, we'll discuss the importance of a Colorado marital settlement agreement, a few key legal requirements, and where to get an official template. First, let's begin by looking at the importance of a Colorado marital settlement agreement. The marital settlement agreement outlines the basic terms of the divorce agreement, such as which spouse gets a certain property that is jointly owned. The agreement is essential when distributing assets, alimony, and other support. In many cases, a mutually agreed upon settlement can be presented to a judge for approval without a formal court hearing. Besides this practical function, it's also important as it includes a calculation of the amount of spousal and child support, records all of the details surrounding the divorce, can avoid a formal trial in district court, allows the couple to divide their joint assets, including real and personal property, documents the mutual agreement in writing with all parties' signatures, is often required by the court when filing for divorce, can be kept if approved as evidence in case any legal disputes arise, and specifies any custody arrangement, whether joint or sole custody. It's in the mutual interest of each spouse and their legal counsel to reach an agreement by using this document, provided all parties see eye to eye on the terms. That way, the divorce can be quicker and more affordable, as opposed to undergoing trial proceedings. Now, let's overview some of the legal requirements in Colorado. Colorado is one of the 41 states that have enacted equitable distribution laws. Equitable distribution is the fair separation of assets, which also tends to not be an equal distribution. This dispersion will be left to the discretion of a judge if the spouses are unable to reach a settlement or face a heavily contested divorce. When applying equitable distribution, the courts may take into account the duration of the marriage, what each spouse paid for, employability of each spouse, assets and debts of each spouse or combined, and sources of income and amount. Finally, keep in mind that a marital settlement agreement can be used in Colorado to avoid distribution by the courts. If both spouses agree on most terms, then they can file an uncontested divorce or dissolution of marriage. A dissolution of marriage involves both spouses filing a joint petition requesting a termination of marriage, whereas an uncontested divorce typically involves one spouse filing for divorce. Both options are ways to move through a divorce without the time and expense of contested divorce proceedings. Colorado is also a no-fault state, meaning if one spouse wants out, the court will mostly grant a divorce decree without requesting evidence of wrongdoing. Were eForms the biggest database of legal documents, to obtain an official Colorado marital settlement agreement template that can be used to file for divorce in your nearest district court, simply click on the link below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily videos.